In this video, we're going to be using Barbus Active and the John June Shorty. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. And this is sort of a special edition video because I had a shave planned, but some things happened and I changed it up. So today we're using Barbus Active, which I really like. Barbus is in the tradition of European soaps. Easy to use, very good. Um, I really enjoy using this one. And this one is active. It's got a nice, clean, fresh scent. Scent strength on it. It's about a little under medium, clean and fresh. And I apologize for not having your information like ingredients, costs and all that. But literally, I pulled this one out at the last minute because I heard from the gentleman who sells Barbas in the US. He had sent me an email that says, I have the Rona. I'm going to be out of work for a week or so. And he was just letting me know he supports everyone's videos all the time. And so I'm asking you today, if you've been interested in Barbas, um, whether it be this one, whether it be Barbas Classic, the creams, uh, I'm going to link his, his uh, website below. Uh, give him a little business. I'm sure he would appreciate it. He does have the Rona. He even sent me his test results. And I was like, I don't need that. I'll take your word for it. But anyway, um, so we want to mention Barbas today and of course, send our thoughts and prayers with the Barbus Gent. He's been so supportive to many of us on YouTube. He's just always out there grinding, you know, saying positive words. So today we're asking you, if you've been interested in Barbus, give it a look. I'll link the website below. Uh, and I made an order last night myself just to help out. So for what it's worth, there it is. Uh, we have our standard 24 hours of growth today. Today we're going to be using the John June Shorty, which I got from Marion the Barbarian. I'm told by John June that Marion We'll have more of these John June shorties coming in. So if you want to hit Marion up, I'll put his email address below. He is the person in the United States to get these uh, John June shorties from. So I believe John June said in his next batch that Marion will have, he'll have, um, <clears throat> he'll have uh, nickel plated, I believe he said. And so I'll put Marion and John's information below. If, you, if you're in the US, you're going to want to go through Marion. If you want one, if you're in uh, Europe, of course, you might want to go th directly through John. So I'll put a link his YouTube page below and uh, check it out if you like. And again, today we're using Barbus and just giving thanks to the gent that has been so supportive of all of our channels. And we hope he certainly gets well. He had told me a few days ago that he was feeling pretty sick. And uh, then he went and got a, a test and... It was confirmed that he has the coronavirus or COVID-19, whatever you want to call it. And as a result, he was saying, I'm going to be out of work. And so uh, asked me to pass along. It'd be a great time now if, you, if you've been interested in Barbas, you know, maybe give it a shot. It's always up to you, you know, make your decisions. But, uh, I have really enjoyed using Barbas and I've used it quite a number of times in the recent months and it's worked very well for me. All right, here we go today with our John June Shorty, which I have enjoyed using. Having no problems. They're working through that. 24 hours of growth. Really nice work on this. This is John June's Edge as well, which is quite good. Or at least I've been happy with it. Edge, edge uh, preference is highly highly subjective one guy's great edge is another guy's terrible edge and it's almost like um sort of soap scent you know <laughs> like some people get an edge and go it's great and then somebody will get one and say it's, it's terrible so always keep that in mind when we're talking about uh, edges that you may get one and go it's a terrible edge and someone else may get one and go that's the best edge i've ever tried when we say best edge, we just mean the way the edge feels when using it and how effectively it's cutting. And of course, uh, a lot of guys just prefer using their own edges because they customize the feel of the straight razor. And I guess that, uh, that's what I would say would be the benefit of uh, straight razor shaving. You can sort of get an edge customized for you and the type of sharpness that you like because not every edge it's the same if you're new to this. Um, some edges will be very sharp and maybe a little on the harsh side. Some edges will be not quite as sharp, but feel smooth. Some edges 
or a combination of both. And so people have really different preferences. And so, you know, I always hear of people not liking edges that are by very well-known people. Um, or I often hear of it. So, it, you know, and you know these people know how to hone. So edge preference is just a really subjective thing is what I'm trying to get across. Uh, but this is a good edge on this razor. And at some point I will replace it with my own edge, but I did want to try out John June's edge and it's worked well for me thus far. Hope you're all doing well today. Hope the new year has been good to you so far. Let's hope that people didn't go nuts and be irresponsible on New Year's. <laughs> you know, as far as getting out in big crowds and spreading this crazy virus, it's really affected a lot of people. There's been a lot of people that I know and family members now that have been affected, people I work with. Um, it didn't start out that way. But it seems now that it's sort of catching up with people. And so we're hoping that things will get better on that front. All right, first pass is good. Nothing to complain about there at all. The the Barbus did its job. The John June Shorty did its job. And I really like this active. And I think the Barbus gent was telling me that um, sometimes his English is broken, so I don't always understand, but it seems to me he might have been telling me that he only had so much barbus uh, active left. So if you want active, now would be the time to get it. Because I think he was telling me he has to make such a big, large investment to get it. It has to be made in a big batch. And that you might not have a lot of barbus active around. So if you want barbus active, I would say go ahead, get it now. Because you may not see it for a while, if I understood him properly. And I apologize, sir, if I got that wrong. Uh, feel free to correct it below and I'll pin it. But uh, it's a good soap in the European tradition of just, when I say European tradition, I mean soaps that work well, but are not finicky. Like, you know, you know the uh, some of the American artisanal offerings can be quite finicky and you, you need to dial it in and do add special amount of water. And uh, these European soaps, they just work. They lather well, they're easily, they're easily lathered, I should say. And you don't have to do a lot of gymnastics to get them to lather. And uh, I really like that about them. Ease of use on the European products are often quite uh, high. Meaning you could just lather them and go. You don't have to spend all day you know, trying to do special things. And I, you know, I personally really appreciate that in a product. Just to be able to lather it, get your shave on, you know. I think that's a, it's a good quality. But on the other hand, I also appreciate soaps that, you know, you can sort of uh, work with to sort of make the soap different based on how you lather it and how much water you give it. You know, I like the challenge of that. But there's something to be said about this, these uh, European products that just, you know, you uh, wet that brush and go, you know. So I am a fan of the European products and I should probably make a list of my favorite European products. I know my uh, top 10 artisanal offerings did not contain any European artisans. It's not because they aren't good, it's that the artisan offerings aren't quite as accessible here and I had not purchased at least three in 2020. That's uh, something that I'll probably work to change in 2021 because the European stuff is fantastic and I really like using it and I look forward to using more of it this coming year or this, this year, 2021. Hope everyone is doing well. Hope your holidays went great, Christmas and New Year's. Hope you're able to see loved ones if you were, if you didn't have travel restrictions and that everybody's safe. 
and happy. That's the main thing. And healthy. I always say if you um, if you're healthy, you have reason to be happy. So if you if you find yourself healthy but not happy, work on that happiness. <laughs> All right, really nice shave today with the John June shorty again. Marion the Barbarian. Marion the Barbarian is your guy in the United States for this. If you want the John June shorties. I saw the uh, video the other day and uh, the stallion was also talking about edges and he was saying, believe what you see or try yourself. And I think that's a good uh, rule to follow. I mean, you can take these videos and all our videos with a grain of salt, but ultimately you have to try and decide for yourself whether you like an edge. I think he was saying that someone didn't like his edge or something and you know, that does happen. Um, not everybody likes everyone's edges and so, you know, keep that in mind, but on the same token, you know, I recommend that you just use things and decide for yourself. Decide what works best and then just sort of go for it. Very nice. Very, very nice today with John June Shorty, which is, uh, this is essentially just a modified gold dollar razor with scales. I imagine John might have made these scales. I'm not exactly sure, but... I'm really nice, really, really nice enjoying it so far today. And I hope you all are enjoying your shades wherever you are. Uh, I forgot to mention today we're using the Captain's Choice Bowl, which is my, you know, my number one bowl. And the Ariana and Evan Synthetic, which is my travel brush. All right. Very nice. You can, as you can see, this lather is not finicky. You just slap it on and go and, you know, Usually when I say European tradition of soaps, this is what I mean. You don't have to spend all day with it fooling around. You can lather it pretty easily, pretty quickly. And with this, um, when you get the, the Barbas, the consistency of it is, um, it's weird. It's almost like a, it's not, it's not a cream. It's a soap, but it's kind of in the middle in terms of, it's, it's firm, but as it comes out, it's almost like clay or something that, you know, sticks together, um, like gummy, you might say, it's not, when, when people say gummy, I often think of, uh, maybe being wet, but like to your fingers, it's like, uh, almost looks like caulking or something. It's a weird consistency, but when you put it in the bowl and press it in there, it lathers beautifully. It's a, uh, just the consistency of it is unusual, but it works great. And I love it. Someone was mentioning that the other day that I think it was Jeremy, the traveling shaver, was mentioning that the uh, the consistency was sort of like a putty. I guess the way I would put it. But it works great. And so I am definitely a fan of the Barbas. And we hope that uh, you will give him a little support. But again, as I say, as I often say, it's, it's entirely up to you. I'm trying to sort of get a little hooking action there to get some of that tough hair on the neck. Really like this razor. Really, really like it. I like that sort of bobber's notch design. And uh, I look forward to seeing these more out there. In the hands of people. John June does uh, good work, obviously. And now we've got quite a number of guys, you know, restoring straight razors, honing. So you have choices. So like the stallion said, um, you know, try stuff and see what you think. But also like the stallion said, understand that it takes quite a while to actually figure out what you like and really even whether or not you have a good edge or not. In the beginning, I'm just going to warn you, when you get a straight razor, it is not going to feel like what a machine blade feels like. Um, it's going to feel, even if it's well honed, compared to a machine blade, it might feel to you as if, as if it's not sharp. But I encourage you to keep working with it. If it has come from a reputable honemeister or somebody that you know 
puts out edges. Um, keep working with it. Now also keep in mind if you're stropping it and you're new, you could you can ruin the edge or just not being careful with the blade, hitting it on things, so on and so forth. So for new people, you might actually ruin an edge or two before you even figure out what's going on. I mean, it can happen. So keep in mind, perhaps it could be you and not the edge. It could be you just not understanding the way straight razors feel because in the first few weeks that I was straight razor shaving regularly, although I liked it, it has a different feel than a machine blade entirely. And it can give you the impression, even if it's a very sharp blade, that it's not as sharp as it should be. And that is just a man-made edge versus a machined edge. They're just different. And so please keep that in mind, um, that it'll take some time for you to actually appreciate the way it's supposed to feel. And Early on, I sort of struggled with that. I didn't know what a good edge was, but it doesn't take long to sort of get that feel down. And one of the things that no one ever mentions that I think warrants a mention is it also takes a while for your face to adjust to a different style of blade and different level of sharpness. So you may have to put a few weeks in before your face gets accustomed to straight edges. And once it adjusts and you're used to it, it'll it'll start to feel right. So give it time um, and make sure you're dealing with someone reputable, be it the stallion, be it whomever, you know, Sprecker, uh, John June, you name your honing guy. Um, just make sure you're be, being careful with these edges. because it does not take much to ruin one of these edges. If you're, um, certainly if you hit it up against anything, if you're putting anything against that edge, um, you can destroy a good edge easily and quickly, um, as most of us have learned. <laughs> so just be careful with it. And if it doesn't feel right, if it just feels terrible, you know, you can always send it back for honing, but in the beginning, it's probably not gonna feel right. So I just wanna give that guidance today. If you're just starting out with straight razors, it's gonna feel a little unusual at first, so keep that in mind. All right, let me rinse. We'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back with the Magic Made by Witches. This is Farrah's Witch Hazel, Cucumber, and that was an amazing straight razor shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, troubles, great stuff, and we used the Barbas. And once again, I remind you, if you've been thinking about getting Barbas, now would be a great time to help the gentleman at Barbas out, who, again, has been uh, diagnosed with the Rona, and he actually showed me his result. And so if you've been wanting to try this, give it a shot or try Barbas Classic or any of the things he has on his website. He said that would be a great help uh, to him. And sir, uh, my thoughts and prayers are with you. I'm hoping you get well soon. Um, today, we use the John June Gold Dollar Shorty, which again, if you're in the U.S., reach out to Marion, the Barbarian. Link will be below. He will have some more of these coming in soon, I am told. If you're in the U.K. or uh, Europe, reach out to John June. I'll link his channel below. Uh, again, today, Captain's Choice Bowl, Ariana and Evans Synthetic. And we'll finish off today with Ariana and Evans, the Undersea, just because my mom really loves the scent when I wear it, so I thought I would put it on today. And I hope you folks will have an excellent day today and an excellent shave like I did. And remember, if you're new, straight razor shaving takes time. Takes time to get a feel for that edge. Takes time to get a feel for what's right. Just take it slow, be careful, and enjoy the ride. That's what it's all about. I want to thank you very much for joining me today. I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.